Uh, in this video, we will convert methanol and carbon monoxide to acetic acid, catalyzed by dicarbonyl diiodyrodate. Overall, this complex bears negative one charge. This iodine has negative one charge. This iodine has negative one charge. Therefore, the oxidation number of rhodium has to be plus one. Minus one, minus one, plus one, and then overall it's minus one. And because this complex is negatively charged, we call this rhodate instead of rhodium. And then we look at the entire catalytic cycle here. So we start from methanol. Methanol reacts with hydrogen iodide to form this iodomethane. And this iodomethane reacts with the catalyst. In this step, we have oxidative addition going on. So first, this rhodium gets two more ligands, therefore addition. And also, if we look at the oxidation number of this rhodium, so you have minus one on this iodine, minus one here, minus one here, and also you have a minus one charge on the carbon. So overall, you have four minus. And then the overall charge of the entire complex is negative one. Therefore, this rhodium must have an oxidation number of three. So you go from oxidation number of one to three, that's a oxidation reaction. And we call this oxidative addition. And then from here to here, uh, this is a shift of carbonyl. So this carbonyl function group shift from rhodium to this carbon. Or you may just view this as the insertion of this carbonyl ligand into this rhodium carbon bond. So we have this structure here. And again, the oxidation number of this rhodium is plus three. Minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one, plus three, overall you have negative one. From here to here, you have another uh, uh, carbonyl ligand uh, uh, forming a bond with this rhodium. Now you have a uh, uh, octahedral structure, a total of six ligands bonded to this rhodium. And again, the oxidation number of this rhodium is plus three. And now this part, this CO, CH3CO, and one of the uh, iodidyl ligand will leave together. So uh, essentially it's this. This uh, two electrons become the sigma bonding electrons between this iodidyl ligand and this carbon. So you have I forming a bond with this carbon. And meanwhile, these two electrons get back to rhodium. Therefore, you have this CH2COI being formed. And this uh, complex structure becomes the original catalyst. So we have six ligands here and four ligands here. Therefore, we call this a elimination step. And also, the oxidation number of rhodium decreases from three to one. Therefore, we call this step reductive elimination. And we're not done with this one. This one reacts with water and form acetic acid and HI. This HI will provide this adding atom to here. And this uh, iodomethane uh, react with the catalyst in this oxidative addition step. Oxidative addition, reductive elimination.